everybody. We are leaving the woods, heading back to civilization and tackling the rear drive shaft today. We met a cool guy named Nick this past weekend at the J Jamboree, Massachusetts, and he informed me of dead Jeep, and they have tons of old Jeep parts, including a spare drive shaft for Jay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. What's your name? Ray. Ray. I met all these guys at the Massachusetts Jamboree this last weekend. We got Miles, George, and Nick. And Nick's actually the one that told me about Dead Jeep. So they came out. They're going to help us with the drive shaft. I think we should be able to button her up. No problem. See Adam's drive shaft, like I was saying. Oh, nice. It's just got the bigger U joint. You can see I used the cat for a different project. Yep. But less than 10,000 miles on it. So perfect. Need be. In case Dead Jeep doesn't have something, Miles brought one, but. I think we should be good. M715? Yep. Wow. <laughs> oh man. I love this place already. <laughs> that is so cool. Let me see if I got another one too so I can give you a spear. If you got room for a spear. Yeah, it probably would be a good idea. <laughs> Seriously. Here at Dead Jeep, they tear down about eight Jeeps a day. So you guys are gonna be able to find any kind of parts you might need for your Jeeps. We're comparing drive shafts to see which one we wanna go with. Got a couple pulled here. The slip shaft is seized up here on my drive shaft. This is a drive shaft here from Dead Jeep, and then this is an Adams drive shaft for miles. Yeah. I honestly think this one's just a much smoother. It's nice, yeah. You know what I mean? To figure out the like right drive shaft. Where is this? Oh no, I got stuck. <laughs> now you get it. I, got, I was getting it shut too. It's because of the. Like, yeah, no, I'm with. But that's the problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? That one's a lot smoother. That's the same thing that happened with that one. Yeah, so I'm thinking this one would should be your go to drive shaft and keep this one for a spare. And Definitely. if you guys want to grab two U-joints, you join them both up. The current yoke on here has two bolts sheared off. We're going to replace it with this yoke that has a better strap system for the U-joint, as well as it's a 1330 U-joint versus a 1310. So we're going to have a little bit bigger of a U-joint, stronger. It's going to be better off-road. Just got to swap out the yokes. We're going to throw in new U-joints in the drive shafts. We have a backup drive shaft. We're going to get a new U-joint for that as well. We should be set. Do you know what? I'm gonna get a little tour of Dead Jeep. Lisa, who also works here, is running to get new U joints for us. Thank you so much, Lisa. So this is basically where we keep all the tools. Oh, yeah. Go through the crannies, take them apart, clean them, sort pots wow. out, picture them, put them all online. So many Jeep parts, I love this. I know, I did well. <laughs> now, how long have you been doing this, Ray? Uh, I started building Jeeps and fixing Jeeps and selling pots in like 94. And then I just slowly grew from there. And then I stopped building Jeeps in about. I think my last Jeep build was like 2012, and I just strictly, I mean, I'll still build a Jeep, but it, it takes like an act of God, to be honest with you. But, uh, <laughs> now no, more, just tear down and yeah. sell. I'm telling you, break down anywhere, like just tell us what you need and we'll just send it to you. <laughs> yeah. So you just need to have an address. We're kind of going through everything on Jade while we're doing this drive shaft swap, and we noticed how dirty the air cleaner was. Well, Ray found a nice air cleaner up here. I got dozens of these. Yeah, no, like this, like what we do is box stuff and ship it. Good. Yeah, it was. It sounds good. The inlet is a little bit too big on this one. We're gonna look for another one quick. I had a shake on Jade. Here we go. Go. Jade's getting taken care of today at the G. Yeah, they got your U-joints. Perfect. Okay. And Lisa just dropped off the U-joints. Hooking us up today. Heck yeah. New drive shaft is in. We got the different style straps. It's gonna work a lot better. The yoke in back now accepts a 1330 U joint, a little bit bigger. The slip shaft is working properly on this one. And we got a backup Adams drive shaft 
just in case, thanks to Miles. Thanks to, uh, thanks to that guy. Yo. I climb up from underneath Jade. There's half doors on. There's windows on the side here. One of them's a CJ. It doesn't even fit the locks, but Ray even offered a soft top. But I'm gonna hold off on the soft top for now. I think we're gonna be solid with the doors and we got that piece of plywood up there, but can't say enough about dead Jeep. These guys are great out here. And George is actually gonna hook us up with a bag he doesn't use for his T-tops on his JK. So we're gonna throw the half windows and doors in that, throw it on the roof. And the big thing, doors really do keep in all that heat. You know, if you run like a hard top with no hard doors, all the heat goes right out. But you do no top and hard doors and the heat still stays in that bubble. So we got all the car going back, which kind of keeps the heat in anyways. But having some half doors and windows might actually really come in handy when it gets really cold and you need to heat up. Because one thing I noticed is when we got really cold the other day, we had no way of heating up even with Jade because we didn't have any doors on to keep in the heat. So having a, you know, emergency backup plan to be able to heat yourself up with a Jeep seat, kind of necessary. So this is a huge upgrade. Ray, appreciate you taking care of us today, hooking us up with all these parts. We'll be sure to keep in touch. Can't thank you enough. So all these guys made this happen today. Really thankful and appreciative of their support. And I'm sorry for the noise. These guys are working and we're gonna get out of their hair. We're about to take off here. We all got hooked up with some dead Jeep shirts. But I can't thank these guys enough. Miles somewhere over here. Can't thank you guys enough for coming out and helping us out. No getting the drive shaft put on and whatever else. We end up doing the jig. So. Awesome, great, great guys. Perfect, everything's tight, no vibrations, nothing's excessively hot. Perfect, man, this worked out great. And we're at George's right now. George has that bag. There it is. Right here. Dude, that is perfect, man. Yeah, we can fit. fit. It'll fit. Awesome. When we're not using the half doors and windows, we can just throw them in this bag like we were before we lost the soft top and everything. So, dude, no worries, thank man. you so much, man. It's just one thing after another day is working out. So this was straight from the factory? It's straight from the factory, just for the freaking the T-tops. Oh man, look at this. It's it's got it's got a divider in here, nice soft fabric. <laughs> this is thick though, this is great. Man. It looks like it'll fit perfect. Oh too. yeah, let's let's try throwing them in. You said you're just gonna I was just gonna it. throw it away because I have I have a new one for this one. It has a little foam bottom for it to keep the T-top separated, so I have no use for it. Oh man. Well, we're gonna definitely get some use for it. That's what's up. Like a glove. Wow. That is perfect. It's meant to be. Dude, yep. It's perfect. It's awesome. Appreciate it. No worries, okay. guys. We'll throw it right on the roof right away. Yeah. Slide it in. Now the windows are protected. Soft doors will be protected. We're set up. He's the man. Got the bag on the roof. Like a glove. Perfect. All set. Oh, yeah. Back on the road we go. Off to New York, state number 11 on a 50 state road trip. And any of you locals in New York, if you have any recommendations for a good meetup location for the J Jamboree, definitely feel free to reach out to me at officialimjake at gmail.com. That's the best way to get a hold of me. I'd like to end this video with a thank you, and that is to a new Patreon pledge, John R. John means a lot what you're doing, keeping us on the road. Thank you. What's up, Jake? What's up? Ben? <laughs> and then where's Annie? Annie's, Annie's Annie. Annie. Here Annie, I'm vlogging right now. <laughs> What's up, Annie? And yeah, we got doors. We got and doors. and the they doors have doors. What are those? What are those?